What's good, y'all? We're back. I know my hair is a mess. Don't worry, though. I'm about to throw this baby on. You ain't gonna see it very long. So my homie Mike is actually right around the corner. I'm about to hop on the barley, meet up with him real quick. And yeah, we're gonna head over to, uh, it's called Angel's Crest. So, get you on the set. Up the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Piss off your neighbors. <laughs> I know, bro. What's up, bro. guys? It's my boy Mike right here. We about to hit up Angela's Crest. Bro, I know this thing staged one finally, bro. I've been waiting forever. Hey, uh, you want to go to Azusa or Angel Crest? Oh, is it dope? Yeah, it's pretty dope. Yeah. I'm down because I've already done at Angela's Crest, so I might as well do something new. Okay. Hey, but I'm gonna take it easy because my brake pads are gone. I just been in. I just been engine braking. For real? Uh, that's why I want to go to Azusa. I know the uh, curves a little bit. All right, let's do it. Let's go. All right, everybody hit up Azusa. Change your plans. Let's get it. All right, boys, what's good on this beautiful, beautiful day? We're getting the cruise going. You already know me and Mike on these streets. Nah, oh, man, I forgot how fast this dude mobs. Jeez, all right. This video is mostly going to be me trying to catch up to Mike. That's why. Damn, dude, this dude is mobbing. Jeez, Mike, slow down. Oh, I got to speed up. Oh great, I hate this part. Ugh. Nah, we're good. They need to fix that. One thing I love about mobbing with Mike, man, that dude knows how to mob. This dude gets it going. He tests my skills. This is getting crazy. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap. Anyway, guys, it's a beautiful day out here. We mobbing about 70 miles an hour. I'm gonna try to talk to you guys calmly while I'm frantically mobbing the streets on this Harley Davidson. Oh crap, why'd I burp in my helmet? Skr 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 cruising him up. One thing about this dude bro, he does not care about no turns. Usually turns have signs like 35 miles an hour, right? This dude, he'll go 65. Just to prove a point. He's wild. But of course obviously, you know, if your friends jump off a cliff, you have to too, right? So I mean I gotta go 65, sometimes even 70 just to prove a point. Picking up some speed, getting it going, here we go, here we go. Jeez, man, my bike is wobbling like crazy. Just needs to get some speed wobbles. I don't know if it's the road or my engine. <laughs> man, that's why I love cruising with him, bro. This guy knows how to push it, bro. We're going like 100 right now. Jeez. We mobbing today. I know y'all see how this dude's splitting lanes, right? This dude's a maniac. This dude's a maniac. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. I know y'all saw that. That was swift. Ooh. I'm so slick. Better watch out on the Sportster, bro. Sportster Custom 1200. But yeah, so we planned this pretty, uh, I think it was like like a week ago. We wanted to go a week ago with a lot of the other homies, but um, Mike ended up having an ear infection. So that just cleared up. Now we're back. Eventually, I would like to get a bigger bike so I can keep up with dudes like that. Dudes like Mike, people in those Pepe's crew, they all have like 1,800, like 2,000 cc motorcycles. I'm trying to be on that wave because those things cook. Those things go fast. And it's like not even just top speed, like off the line, bro. Like they'll go zero to sixty and a lord knows how quick. But it's crazy though. And even with my bike, I just tuned it with the Vance and Heinz fuel pack tuner. It's performing well. It's good at low and high RPMs, but no matter what I do to this bike, it won't be an eighteen hundred CC bike. I mean I love this bike, it's gorgeous, I'm probably gonna keep it forever, but I will eventually get something new, something fresh. I really want to get a maybe 2020 Lowrider S. Those things are clean. Those are like some of the freshest bikes I've ever seen. And they discontinued them, I think it was in 16 or 17. Right now, I'm currently looking for a fat bob. I think that might be the move. Hold on, let me tuck this right quick. Hit this 120. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm hitting wobbles like crazy. Jeez. Oh my gosh, my bike. Bro, if you guys could see the smile on my face right now, it would be freaking ginormous. My bike has never pulled that hard. Guys, let me tell you right now, I've hit it, I've hit 120 before, easy, but it's like my bike never pulls at one, 100. I, I can, I'm at a loss, I can't even speak, forget it. I don't even want to, what was it, what was I even talking about? Alright, so let me pull it, get some gas real quick. Let's remember I got a Sportster, so that gas tank is tiny as fuck. But yeah, oh wait. Oh yeah, you're right, bro. <laughs> I'm tripping, this is diesel. <laughs> Gotta hit up the actual gas that my bike can handle. That should look hard. All right, let's dip. Let's go. Have a good one, bro. I wish I had changed, bro. Thank you, man. Have a good day. Mm. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna hit it. Yeah. The Vespas? Shit. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Alright, we just topped off the engines. Got my baby nice and full. So now we're officially headed to Azusa. We should get there in about 10 minutes. Oh, damn, Mike Vanessa. Hold up, Mike. Hold up, Mike. Let me get there real quick. Hold up, my G. Near. Alright, we good. Ah, I could just smell the Azusa from here. Man, you see that view? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous view. I can't wait to be up in those mountains, man. Well, this is scenic. How lucky am I? I swear, every time I'm recording the GoPro and riding my Harley, I'm always running into some nice GoPro footage scenery. Tell me this ain't top. Bro, I know you see these palm trees. Alright, now that we finally deep in the canyons where we can start hitting some corners, let's see how this baby's gonna feel with a nice little lefty. Oh, snap. This pavement's really buttery, man. I was like, that was a really smooth turn. I was not expecting that one, not gonna lie. Oh snap, hold on. You know I had to pull over. I saw a huge cloud of dirt and I was like, what the hell is making that? And I look over and people are going off-roading. So I'm about to pull over, check it out. Mike's right behind me. We're gonna I wanna get some footage real quick. I just wanna check that out. little pit stop we found this off-roading track we had to hit the bridge and check it out so far we're kind of what would we like three or four miles into i think so yeah azusa sure. check this spot out and then head back on the road i was cruising there's like five or six cars in front of me and i was trying to finesse you'll see it in the gopro but i was trying to finesse every single one of them it did not work out well <laughs> there's always another car so hopefully now there won't be too many cars in our way all right let's get back on the adventure why don't we after that brief little pit stop we're going to continue on this little trek, end up at the top of the hill, hit some more corners, so let's get it going. Cars in front of me, man, on a two-way road. You know what we do to cars like that? That's right. That's right. That's right. We don't waste no time out here. Some more beautiful scenery to add to this wonderful trip. I'm telling y'all, this is just as gorgeous. Like, if you guys can see this through my eyes in real life, the GoPro does not do this beauty justice. What's up, broski? Alright guys, I'm no videographer, I'm no photographer, but I love a scenic shot, whether it be a GoPro, whether it just be looking at a beautiful view. I really personally just love the idea. And seeing this, there's just a huge rock cliff on my right side, there's a railing on the left, both sides being death, but ultimately they both look good together. You guys feel me? Probably don't, You're probably not following. Probably don't make any sense, but at the end of the day, I'm just trying to find stuff to talk about while I'm cruising through this, this canyon of death. Aw, uh, what? You got the homies on the left side right quick? Alright guys, sorry, hold on. I'm about to pull over. I'm gonna try to get some shots of uh, these dudes hitting this corner real quick. Let's kick it here for a sec. I wanna check out these guys. What? You down to kick it for a sec? Check out these guys. What? Yeah. You get some more footage? That guy's hitting Yeah. Hey, you're right though, huh? They usually get the sessions in the morning. Yeah, cooler. that's why I thought we missed it already. Yeah. All right, let's check out this view, boys. So we just pulled over somewhere. I don't know where the fuck we're at, to be honest. All I know is I don't got any service. And this is a cliff. Yeah, so no service. Beautiful view. You can hear the knee scrape on that one. It was like... I gotta see this one come up. You know that shit's about to be mean. He does it pretty hard though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Come on. Come on. I 
we're about to back out. Gonna hit the spot. Cruise up a little bit. Back on the road. We got about one more mile of elevation to climb before we actually get to the top of Azusa. So once that does happen, it's gonna be a nice view at the way top. We're gonna hit a couple more carves, scrape a few more pegs, and we should be up there in no time. Slip, scrape, scrape, scrape. <laughs> Isn't this great? I'm telling you guys, when you hop out on a Harley, and the thing is, the reason why I'm scraping so much is because my bike is super, super low. Like the suspension is really, really low. So when I hit a sharp turn, my foot pegs immediately contact the ground. Whereas like if you're on a sport bike, like the guys you just saw that I was filming, the sport guys are like, they can easily hit these turns going way faster, maybe even double the miles per hour that I'm going right now. Just because they're lean angle and they have a lot more clearance than Harleys do. So naturally they can, you know, they're, they're built for performance. Their ergonomics are meant to do stuff that normal motorcycles can't do. We are super, super close to the top. I can feel it. Tell me what, ah, I knew it. There's a closed road sign up there. That's dope though, finally hit the top. Must have been an avalanche or something that happened. Oh well though. All right, I'm gonna pull up. What's good, y'all? We just hit a quick little pit stop. We made it to the top of the mountain. Well, almost to the top. The road's fucking closed. But yeah, that was a dope ass crew. So on the way back up, like that shit got way more mellow. Well, not really mellow, but more manageable because it was all uphill. So it wasn't so hard to slow down. But when you're hitting those corners, dude, the corners were way sketchier. I had to get used to that shit real quick. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we got the mic turned back on. You see this road close sign? That's only for pussies. I'm not pussy. Alright, so let's check out what's at the top. They say curiosity killed the cat, but uh, like I said, I ain't no pussy. Is that a security guard? What is it? Well, they got the security guard driving this beat old car. I feel bad for this guy. Well, did not think I was going to get kicked out that fast. Oh, well. Well, guys, I just got kicked out of a freaking mountain. So now we're headed back down. Where's this boy Mike going? Ah, uh, whatever. Like I said earlier, if your friend jumps off a bridge, you know what you got to do. Oh, this is what I was talking about. How the trees come up from the sides and... I'm sure it'll get better, but how the trees come up from the side and cast nice shadows on the road. It, looks, it just looks astonishing, man. That's why I love California. You get the best of both worlds. You can find snow. That was a sharp turn. You can find snow. You can find campgrounds. You can just find everything in this day, man. We did make it to the top of that road, but now we're going up to this campground. I think Mike was telling me about before. I think that's where we're headed. So we'll probably hit that. Check that out. And then dip on the way back. See how it goes. You guys didn't see that. Nothing just happened. It's not like I just crashed or almost crashed into the railings. I'm not putting that in the video. We're on the way back downhill now, on the way to the gas station. After we fill up tanks, me and Mike are probably gonna part ways. It was a good sesh, good little cruise in this canyon. It's my first time in Azusa, so that was definitely an experience. So I'll see y'all when we get to the gas station. We just made it down the, the mountain. Yeah, anyway, we just made it down the mountain. That low-key felt way longer than the way up. Oh, I, still got, I, got, I still got 12 minutes in this, we're chilling. Big chilling. We saw this Lambo, homie hit a squirrel, and the squirrel guts like hit, hit uh, Mike and my, and me. I got a lot of guts on my, on my, got a lot of guts on my visor, so does he. I'm about to give this bike a nice, good cleaning when I get home. Uh, I'm gonna fill up gas real quick, and I'll get back to you in a second. Oh, snap, did you guys check the watch? It's finessing time o'clock. Tell me to finesse. Finesse all these cars. Starting with this one. And then this one. Now you guys know what happens at the end of these vlogs. The commentary gets lamer, but the driving gets crazier. 
How's your guys' day been so far? Put it in the comment section. Like, subscribe, subscribe to this video. You know what I meant. I'm gonna subscribe to this channel. All right, let's punch it. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. One more 120, baby. Let's see if we can get 120. We gotta make this exit. Gotta make this exit. Gotta make this exit. Ooh. Yeah, we made that exit. We definitely made that exit. Later, Mike. We've officially parted ways, and I'm now going 120 again. Beautiful downtown LA. Be back, baby. Holy fudge, guys. Bro, that cruise was insane. This bike is overperforming because of that Vance and Heinz tuner. Honestly, at first I didn't really feel much. I was like, ah, oh, this is gonna be a bust, waste of 400 bucks. The high RPMs is where it performed. That was insane. Literally, I was, my homie has a, I think, he has a 103, 103 cubic inch. Mine's at 75 cubic inch. So it's 1200 cc's, this is about like 1700, 1800 cc's, right? He should smoke me on, on any day of the week. Now, I was cruising down the freeway on the way there and on the way back. 120 was not even an issue for this bike with Defense and Ice Tuner. Now that I installed that map, not even an issue. I was coming, you'll see in the footage, but um, I was coming on the way back. That thing pushed past 120. The speedometer was struggling. Like it was just twitching because it couldn't go past 120, but I felt the revs and I heard it. I was going way faster than 120. Because that Vance and Ice Tuner made a big difference for my bike. It made it sound better, given the decel pops are gone, which is my favorite part about it, but in the long run, it's gonna last a lot longer, run cooler, perform better, man. So, can't wait for it to hit up to 26th. I might drag race it at the event over in Costa Chica. So, we'll see how that baby performs. 